Hey Lepovoni people, John Hauk here. I just want to uh, give you a quick view of what Bong's insulating flange looks like in your uh, Lepovoni. If you have a Generation 1 uh, Lepovoni like this, um, it's not going to apply to you, so uh, you guys uh, are on your own for now. Um, but the first uh, generation that uh, Bong's insulating isolator uh, works for uh, is uh, the Generation 2, probably about 1975 or so. Um, and that's the first generation where the group head is actually bolted on to the boiler. And uh, you can see this is how it would be shipped from the factory. And if you add the Bong's isolator, you can get that from Tudor, Tudor at uh, Coffee Sensor. Uh, you can see it's this black piece here that goes between the boiler and the group head. So if we uh, go ahead and uh, look at a cross section without the isolator first, you can see that the siphon tube uh, is drawing in hot water through here into the group head. And the group head, though, is also open to steam uh, at the top of the boiler. And that makes its way into the group head up through here. So Bones Isolator for Generation 2 group head does two things. One is uh, it isolates the group head from the boiler. And two is it cuts off the steam supply into the uh, group head. So that way it does not uh, have a steam heated group head, which keeps it cooler as well. So let's go ahead and add in uh, Bong's isolator. And you can see what it does here is it basically plugs up the group head so it has no longer access to steam but just to hot water through the siphon tube so this area here would be hot water this area here would be hot water uh, this hole right here um, clearly water can go through there and up here uh, so the um, your copper siphon tube is no longer connected uh, to that uh, threaded flange in your group head instead it's connected to the isolator let me go back again just to give you a quick look here again now that you've thought about that so again here is the siphon tube connected directly to the group head and it uh, feeds water uh, through two holes you can see one of them here the other one is uh, removed in the section view and steam uh, goes to the top of the group head and if I can try to raise this lever, just so that way maybe it makes sense for you who haven't seen this before. Um, when the lever is all the way up like this, you can see then that this then allows water to come in and fill in the brew chamber down here below the piston. Uh, uh, and then that is what, then what you push down with the, um, with the piston to brew your coffee. The um, uh, Bong's isolator, when we add that, you can see in this position, again, hot water can make it through this hole, do the brew chamber, but there, again, there's no way for steam to get into the top of the head. So, again, the isolator does two things. One is it, uh, it provides a thermal break between uh, the boiler uh, and the um, group head, so that way there's no metal-to-metal -metal contact, and it also cuts off the steam. I know there have been other modifications to try to cut off the steam to Generation 2 group heads. Uh, this kind of does that, and it also uh, does the thermal break. If you have happened to um, implemented that other feature where people had, uh, you know, cut this off without the isolator, you may have uh, punched some holes in your uh, siphon tube when you do that modification. So if you do decide to upgrade to Bong's isolator, again, you can get that from Tudor, um, you're going to need a new uh, siphon tube as well. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at what this might look like for a Generation 3 or 4 group head. So we'll go ahead and uh, bring up a Generation 3, uh, let's say Generation 3 Pro. Wait for that to load here for just a second, and uh, we'll see um, what the isolator looks like there. All right, so this is a Generation 3 group head as it's shipped from the factory. And you can see that the factory has actually done the same thing what Bong's isolator does here on Generation 3, is they plug up this hole so that way steam can't get into the group head and it's just water. Um, and so what Bong's isolator does is it replaces this piece and provides a thermal block. So it really only provides one feature for Generation 3 group heads, which is a thermal isolation, because you have metal-to-metal -metal contact here between the boiler and the group head and it provides a level of isolation there, but it doesn't really do anything beyond that because this is already part of your factory uh, Generation 3 group head. Well, let's see what it looks like anyway. 
So there you go. Um, uh, it's been it been installed here. Uh, provides a thermal block. Uh, the group head actually you can see it comes out uh, about 12 millimeters further than uh, it does before. And uh, but other than that, there's really uh, not a big change. Uh, but I I do think performance wise there's a change because it definitely keeps the group head cooler. Um, but in terms of the functionality of the group head, it, it's not that big of a difference. And let's take a quick look at it on the Stradivaria. Um, this might be boring for you. You can tune out now. There's nothing else to say. Just to take a look. The Stradivaria group head looks the same on the inside. Uh, outside definitely looks different. So um, here we go. This is what it would look like uh, with the uh, with the uh, isolator and without the isolator, the factory condition. It's just pushed in a bit. I hope that's been helpful and useful. And uh, um, check it out and see if that's something that uh, makes sense for you. Take care. Bye-bye.